Hello guys, this is your boy Lisa Lanki and today I'll be revealing my first year engineering grades. But let's keep that reveal at the end of this video. For now, many of you would want to know what grades you should aim for and if grades even matter or not. I've already explained why grades matter a lot in this video. So if you haven't checked that video, then please do. But only after watching this video. Apart from that, we'll also be talking about how to get your grades up what are the things you need to focus on and most importantly we also touch upon how to participate in all your college activities without losing out on your grades do grades matter or not and for whom does it matter the most now the answer to this question is not a simple yes or a no so instead let's divide the students into three major categories and then answer this question the first category of students are those who are aiming to get good placements or a job the second category of students are those who want to pursue higher studies and maybe even go for masters. And the third category of students are those who either want to pursue something else altogether like applying for a government job or running their own business or they just want to enjoy their college life. Let's talk about the first category of students that is those who are aiming for good placements or a job. Majority of the students lie in this category. So if you are in this category, you must aim for maintaining a good CGPA. CGPA is basically the average of all your semester's grades and for all the engineering colleges, it is given out of 10. So what exactly is a good CGPA for you guys? It actually depends from college to college. But as a general thumb rule, having a CGPA of 8 to 8.5 plus is considered to be a decent one and you'd be able to sit for almost all the companies that come to your college. Now, I know some of you would be depending on off-campus placements as well. But nevertheless, even for you guys, maintaining a good CGPA is very important. Not because the companies that you apply for would require so. They won't even look at your CGPA. Agreed. But it would act as a safety net for you guys if you ever have to fall back on getting an on-campus placement. So in short, for the first category of students, maintain at least 8 to 8.5 plus CGPA depending on your college. The second category of students are those who want to pursue higher studies. Do grades matter for you guys? And if so, what should you aim for? If you belong to this category, grades matter a lot, even more than those trying to get placements. You must aim for getting a straight 10 pointer itself. I know it's tough and you shouldn't be demotivated if you don't, but most of the universities will look at your performance. Also, there are various different things they would look at apart from your GRE, GATE or any other exam scores. They would look at if you have participated in extracurricular activities, if you have command over the language of that country and so on. Academic excellence hence plays an important part in this along with being an all-rounder. So in short, the grades that you must aim for is 10 pointer itself. Now coming over to the last category of students and these are the ones who want to pursue something else altogether. It could be you trying to get into civil services or even venturing to start your own business. Nevertheless, grades hardly matter for you guys. However, if you're getting into civil services, having a command over your subject is of course beneficial. But there is a good news for you guys. For that, you literally don't need to do anything more than just attend your lectures. As for those who want to venture into starting their own business, grades or even a degree doesn't matter for you guys. However, the connections that you build in your college will help you big time. So make sure to form great connections during your college and participate in different skill building activities. There is no CGPA I'd say you guys need to aim for except for passing in all of your subjects but aiming for 7 plus CGPA wouldn't hurt and again this would act as a safety net in case things go south. Also maintaining 7 plus CGPA is quite easy and even if you focus on completing your submissions on time and studying for your exams a day before you should be well off. But yes if you have two thoughts about whether you belong to this category or not don't even think about doing this and put a bit more effort towards getting 8 to 8.5 plus CGPA. Now finally, let's talk about how to get your grades up and what are the things that you need to focus on. One thing that I have realized is participating in college activities and being a part of various clubs will cost you your grades no matter how good you are at managing your time. Now this does not mean that you don't participate in anything but all I'm saying is don't think that it won't have any consequences. But this was the fact. 
Now, if I had to give my own opinion on this, then I'd say it's all worth it. The experience you get from being a part of such clubs or organizations in your college days is extremely valuable. You won't get it anywhere else. The connections that you build up and how it forges you to be responsible for things if they go wrong under your watch helps you shape yourself for the real world. So participate in various activities, but be prepared to work harder than your peers as well. Other than this, you need to focus on your projects and submissions first. It depends on college to college, but almost all the colleges have a very good weightage for internal marks and marks given for submissions. So even if you are not thorough with the syllabus, you can still manage to get decent marks if you have done your submissions on time. I don't believe that anyone can be judged based on their grades and feel that there are a lot many things that go behind the scenes that just aren't counted. So having said that, let's finally reveal my own grades in my first year of engineering. If you've been a subscriber to this channel, you already know that I'm currently in the computer science branch of KJSC, that is KJ Somaya. Now, as far as the first semester is concerned, uh, I was participating in almost everything I could get my hands on and had very little time to focus on my studies. So I ended up with 7.7 .7 SGPA. SGPA is basically the term used for semester grades. After that, I started to focus my attention back on studies, got to know that I need to aim for at least 8 plus CGPA. So in the second semester, I ended up with 8.8 .8 SGPA. So in short, my first year's grades stand at 8.3 CGPA. That is the average of 7.7 .7 and 8.8. .8. It was tough for me to reveal my grades in a public platform like this, but I believe that it would help students like you to understand grades aren't just everything. So please, please press the like button, subscribe to my channel and share this video with all your friends. It would really help me grow a lot.